Friends, here we are talking about how to enable system CTL on WSL sent OS. So we have some steps. Let me go with step by step. First update WSL. So for that, just open Windows PowerShell run as administrator and then just update WSL using this command. Checking for updates. Okay, it's already up to date. Now open your sent OS and then update yum. So let me open my sent OS. Then run yum update. Okay, in my case, M is already up to date. Then after that, just create wsl.con file under etsy location and then add these two lines. Let me do that. So etsy location wsl.conf then add those two lines. Done. Now close sent OS. Let me close it. Then after that run wsl uh, space hyphen hyphen shutdown from PowerShell. Let me open PowerShell. Let me run WSL space hyphen hyphen shutdown. Now launch sent OS and then verify it. Now let me open my sent OS. Now to verify our system CTL on sent OS, what I will do is uh, let me deploy some package. Uh, so whenever if you relaunch your sent OS, it will take some time. Just wait for it. Yeah, it's open. Now let me install HTTPD service. Now run systemctl status HTTPD. Yes, you are getting it. Not only that, HTTPD service. Yes, you are getting it. That's it. Okay. So this is the way how we can enable system CTL on sent OS.